Hello everyone, this is Tomar Sechkin. We are at Sao Paulo, Brazil, at the Brazilian and uh, the Users Society and ISG joint meeting. We are here today with the president of ISG, Dr. Stefano Bertocchi. I'd like to, he needs no further uh, introduction because Stefano is, is the name behind his own hysteroscope and wonderful design and with his innovation we all follow his footsteps. Stefani, congratulations. This was Thank a great uh, okay. presentation today. But as a president, this is the first time I have uh, honor to talk to you. I think our viewers around the world, the new gynecologists, aspiring endoscopists, are looking to hear from you because our society, I know and we all know, is about to leap to another uh, growth period. We all see this happening under your real leader leadership. So I want you to really take it from here, give some message and see what, what you will say. Thank you, Tamar. So, uh, as you know, ISG, uh, ISG is voted for an international partnership. So we are uh, trying to grow up and to become more and more international. Um, certainly, we will, as I said yesterday during the presentation, we will change slowly our skin and uh, we, will, uh, we are looking for a big partnership. So probably the next year, the next two years, will be the most hard years of the society. Uh, I hope, with the help of all the members, uh, to move the society to really high levels of uh, scientific levels and also, why not, economical levels, in order to facilitate all the operation, all, the, all our activities. And certainly, another big step will be to have a very um, professional uh, teaching program. will probably start from next year. Who will allow uh, so-called underdeveloping country to afford uh, the teaching and the creation of a group of uh, specialists in order then to promote in their own country the, the field of gynecological endoscopy. Am I hearing that we are sticking to our mission? We bring advanced laparoscopy home where our members are, yeah. and we will right now organized, as I understand, into specialized groups that would do teaching in prepared way and with the support of the te technology. Yeah, we have, we have always to look to our mistake. Uh, probably one of the mistakes, not of our society, but of the whole society around the world, is that they don't take too much care of their members. So we, we decide, uh, as I told you, to change our behavior and be more and more close to our members. And this means not only to send them information, but to also to involve them in our activity and to spread all our knowledge, all the knowledge of our members in a country where this uh, request is quite high. So that's the reason why we are moving on with this program. It will be quite innovative, I hope. You can cut it. Okay. We are continuing with Stefano Bertocchi. He had a great presentation of his uh, almost uh, specialized uh, topic, uh, office hysteroscopy. Stefano is the man and the brain behind uh, Bertocchi office hysteroscope, uh, which we have seen wonderful things today. Which is what is wonderful about it? It is. His new way of doing for the years, I have watched him in China doing this, touchless, without touching, using any speculum, no, uh, no tenaculum. Uh, he can go vaginoscopy and finds the cervix and goes inside. And Stefan, how did this technique really develop? Um, this is, uh, I mean, this, this technique belongs from uh, observation and examination of the new technology uh, were available at the time we thought about this technique and this technique is always under development so we change always something depending by 
uh, the new technological improvement arriving from the from the company we receive from the company. So the technique is mainly voted to reduce the pain and the discomfort uh, for this kind of, of procedure. Um, if, when we talk with ladies and we said, oh, you have to undergo hysteroxy, they say, oh, Jesus, I heard from my friends, I saw uh, that it's quite painful. I always explain to the lady, it was painful in the past, probably your friend did it in the, let's say, classic way. So we are trying to reduce uh, the, really the, um, the discomfort for the patient. So having a better approach. And obviously, if the patient feels comfortable, the doctor will feel comfortable, and probably he will put more efforts in the technique. So it's a way to grow and to move this technique from the field of, let's say, invasive procedure to the field of no invasive or minimal invasive procedure. You have shown us that even with the smaller, almost stenotic cervixes, you can go in with, uh, without uh, any problem with the flexure of the uterus, I guess. You can go in and visualize, even operate. What's the smallest, uh, the, your diameter, I understand, is 4.5 millimeter? Mm, no, the Less latest the instruments we present on the market reach the, finally, less than 4, so 3.75 millimeters. So it's, if you consider that up to 10 years ago, the minimum size was 5 millimeter, so we are reducing about 30, 35 percent the amount, the, 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 the size of the, of the hysteroscope. And probably for, for who is not expert in anatomy, 1 millimeter, 2 millimeter means nothing. But if you consider that the cervix, the internal cervical os, is the critical place where we have to pass through, it's five millimeter. To decrease of two millimeter means to decrease of 35, 40 percent of the of the size of so the. You, and you do not use any sedation for this. No, no. absolutely not. Absolutely we do it. not. We and, do. and you can and tell us what besides diagnose, diagnosis. We've seen you doing some procedures. Tell yeah. us those procedures. I, uh, as I said this morning, we don't distinguish anymore between diagnosis and diagnostic and operative procedure. It's a so-called see and treat. You, you go in with your scope. It's like laparoscopy. When you go in and you see, I don't know, a cyst, endometriosis, whatever, what do you do? You stop the procedure and you go back with another scope. No, you are already prepared, yeah. ready for the surgery. This is the the same concept we apply to hysteroscopy. We go in, our scope has a, an operative channel, and through this channel we can uh, insert instrument, mechanical, bipolars, and perform surgery. Wonderful. And Stefana, how can people reach to, you, to your website? What's your address? Uh, the website is www.hysteroscopy.org. It's under reconstruction, but it's anyway available for just to have a look, and then they can easily contact me on the email. It's reported on the website. Thank you for your Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.